Everybody about to die, dude. Yeah. It was bad blood, the platform for lyrical warfare. Uh-huh. Bar for bar, uh-huh. you sub par, you can get left here. East Coast. East Coast. Good. Good. Grind time, East Coast. We had bad blood day one. And uh, this is one half of one of the main events. I'm here with Rhetoric Ramirez, Grand Time West Coast. What do you think about your battle today and your opponent, man? I think uh, it's going to be fun. You know what I mean? Um, as long as we're light-hearted uh, about it, it'll be cool. You know, we, we we take our shit seriously, but at the same time, you know, it's that it's that double-edged sword of doing it hard but being serious. You know, being uh, light-hearted about it at the same time allows a funniness to come through. You know. Okay, okay. You got anything uh, special lined up? Any treats? Any uh, secret tricks? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever heard of uh, uh, gravitational lensing? Anything involved with quantum mechanics? I'm applying anything involved with qu- quantum mechanics and any uh, nano, uh, psychokinetic nanotechnology involved. It's fall season and the planets are aligned. I'm a Sagittarius. Once you have an umbilical cord growing out of you and you gave birth to yourself the second time, you can call yourself a son, you son yourself, so you can son everybody else. What? That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. So how does it feel to be out here in Grand Time East Coast battling out here in New York? Feels City? really easty. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, it feels great. The food is great. I think uh, I get drunk more because the air is cleaner. I don't know. It, it's, it's good. I'm happy to be, you know, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, here you have it, Rhetoric Ramirez. We're getting ready to get into his battle soon, so we'll be back with Dutch Vega. Bad Blood Day One. We got the other half of the Rhetoric Ramirez and Dutch Vega battle. Yeah, why the fuck is his name first? What is that bullshit? Why is his name All right, to be first? We got the other we got Dutch, Dutch Vega, Vega and the Rhetoric other Ramirez. Half of the Dutch Vega Rhetoric Ramirez battle. Right. So what do you think about your, your battle coming up and your opponent, bro? Um I think that the battle I think the battle is gonna be really good. Like Rhetoric is a really good MC and I am also a very good MC. And um, our styles together I think is gonna be dope, you know what I mean? So um, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be really great. So do you have anything to counteract anything to counteract nanotechnology at all? Yes, I do. Okay. Are but I cannot reveal I cannot okay. reveal these secrets. I okay. cannot reveal these secrets. Okay. I mean I do have an EMP in the right pocket, and okay. I do plan on using that soon as he pulls out the nano. Okay. But I do understand that he's gonna try to pull out some other type of uh, smooth move, and it's just not gonna happen. You know, I'm really gonna just you know have to take care of him. I mean, I appreciate that he gave me the opportunity because I do know that he's you know got a few more battles than me and whatnot. So right. um, I appreciate him taking an L. It's cool of him. Okay. I appreciate right. that. Yeah, I will talk your arrow. And we're gonna Word see up, him. it's known. I don't gonna, give a fuck. We're going to see him in the Dutch Baker versus Rhetoric Ramirez battle. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Bad Blood Day what? 1 was right. good. East what? Coast. Yeah. Back New York. Where yeah. we at? Yeah. 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 We're here with one of the main events of the day, okay? On my right hand side. Dutch Vega, Rotten Empire Allegiance, okay. EO Dub, That's End right. of the Week, BX up. to the Death of Me. New York's in the house, yeah. New York's here. Let's go, Yankees. Let's go, Papi. Rhetoric Ramirez finally opened my eyes like your dog. Another testimonial that stepped up to the podium. Sesame Street, Rhetoric Ramirez. <laughs> oh. Burn <laughs> Alright, Dutch, you're on the right. You're gonna call it in the end. Hey, from Bronx, but. Heads. Red, it's on you first. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> just go with the flow, Poppy Puto. I just, okay? came, I just came back from eating a sandwich. How did that happen? Because we're all biased. Like, Ready? That's right. You, you know, get that. Yeah. 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 Hold it down. I, I heard the Cannibal Ox album. You gotta eat them. <laughs> Ready? Fine, I go first. Go. <laughs> I came to bad blood to make a withdrawal. Like a crip yelling slob, there will be blood like Daniel Day. Your mouth will be dripping candy paint. Your head will be sitting sideways. My right hand is Paul Wall. 
<laughs> you ain't here because you gonna give the West a reason to fear the what? You're dead wrong, dick. You're here because you came in on the bottom of Cortez's Cortez after he stepped on shit. <laughs> He's like, all I gotta be is an MVP in GTNY. I just gotta keep winning. I agree, Vega, you're important. What battle league would be complete without their own version of D. Wiggins? Oh. You lack the presence, your bars are unimpressive, plus what the fuck are you good for besides scaring pussy in Sarah Connor's direction? Oh. <laughs> other end of the bar. He's like, where? She's like, up against the wall. <laughs> He's sticking these El DeBarge, fronting like Papa Large. In ten words or less, I describe this molester to y'all. Bulimic Benzino with the mouth of a beaver mixed with Sean Paul. I'm fucking appalled. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, take it easy, all right? Holy shit, another spick rapper. We really gotta get stricter immigration laws. A Dominican from California that thinks he can spit? That's it, I've seen it all. They flew Ricky La Bamba Valenzuela out, but he didn't die on his flight. So now it's up to me to make sure that he doesn't survive and make it out of New York alive tonight. But it won't be hard. See, Rhetoric Ramirez made it easy. He's got no flow, no rhythm, and he's really no MC, B. He's trying to ride the coattails of acapella battles to springboard his music that makes you feel the faggot gay. Listen, fool. This is grind time. Take your slam poetry bars to New York and Poets Cafe that away. Fuck all that emo shit up there, raging on stage. I'm in control of my feelings, okay, Kanye? See, <laughs> see, we're both Latin, but I'm Bronx born and bred. Plus I rap and I got no kids, so I defy the odds. He's typical, got five kids, five jobs, and he still prays to a blonde hair, blue eyed Christ he calls God. Pues que Dios te bendiga. All right, it's all you. Yes, Shout out to Jesus. Shout out to Jesus. He vacations in Florida often. Let's get it. Shout out. All right, I'll break you, you motherfucker. I'm here now. Dear diary. <laughs> Dating people over 13 is like putting on a shoe that doesn't fit. And I learned the hard way that offering people candy to have sex with them only works on little kids. <laughs> it's apparent. Vega, aren't you embarrassed that your sex life is limited to an age group that's young enough to take advantage because you're too scared to tell their parents? <laughs> It'll be our little secret. Oh, ain't that sweet, bitch. <laughs> While you're fighting the urge to be a perv, your girl's jerking foreskin, blowing niggas out of proportion. <laughs> I'll check my sources, but I heard she uh, swallows so many a newborn's unborns, he calls her blowjobs abortions. <laughs> A good relationship is great, where two people relate. Between her swallowing and your sucking, you guys meet halfway. Cause you got DNA's mouth, and she's got a mouth full of DNA, and oh wait, you guys got one more thing in common. You're both incapable of wasting DNA. Come on, New York, baby. Come on. I come from the home of the brave. BX to the death of me. We call it Pun Town, where bitch ass motherfuckers like you cannot exist and get constantly run down. I heard he's been busy bullying Cali dudes around. Well, I'm your host, Dutch Vega, and this is Bully Beatdown. Huh. So don't you dare step foot in my house and think you're just gonna walk away with a win. You go back, licking your wounds, talking shit like you're better than me with the rest of your kin. This is him. I'm Roderick Ramirez, and uh, uh, the trigger sucks. Uh. Blah, 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 bitch, shut the fuck up.
Look, the truth is, I'm ruthless. I could be facing death row and I would still do this. I could be facing the lynch mob, who banging, throwing up hieroglyphics and I would still do this. I'm basically saying, unlike you, I don't need no can do or someone else in my corner cheering me on like you do. So get the fuck out of here, bitch. I'm gonna pick you apart and do it with lyrical class. Go back to Cali and tell them other stuck up bitches I said kiss my ass. Show up. Sorry, Rhett.